Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at the DJI OM4 and how to set up your stabilizer for the first time and get it level, which is a little bit more of a trick to do with this new stabilizer. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and charge it up, and then you're going to go ahead and put in the included uh, tripod, and then we're going to go ahead and erect the stabilizer, and then we're going to add your phone to the stabilizer. Now it's very important when you put on this clip is to try to get it as close to the center of the phone as possible. And you can see it was a little off there. Now that is lined up pretty good. And then what you're gonna do is it's just magnetically mount. You can see the two white dots. Um, it is in uh, the mount there. And once it is locked in, uh, it's gonna work great. Now the next step is you're gonna go ahead and download the DJI app and if you don't have your phone enabled to scan QR codes, you're going to go ahead and turn that on. And then when you do, you will see it will give you go right to the App Store on an iOS device. And then you're going to download it. And when after you get it downloaded and all set up, the first thing we're going to do is I like to open up the Level app on my phone. And you can see there that it is off by one degree. And I've noticed it being off by one to three degrees uh, when I first started up. And here you can see, uh, I now have it in the horizontal position. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, um, an adjustment here. Now what this does is this you can see here, we pretty much got it level. And this is very important uh, because the better you get it level, the more stable your footage is gonna look. So once you get that done, um, we're not gonna manually adjust the gimbal, we're just gonna go ahead and select done. But we're gonna go back uh, to, and we're gonna do the automatic calibration. And we're going to go ahead and start it. I'm going to speed it up here because it does take about a minute. And this basically gets the, the uh, gimbal pretty much level. Uh, now, the downside to this, what I've noticed with the magnetic mount, is I have to do this almost every time uh, because, really, you want your footage level. And you can see there uh, the footage is just spot on level. Now, another thing is right now the gimbal is in a follow mode. And you can see that here. So what I mean by that is every time I tilt the gimbal like that with my hand, it starts to tilt down. Now, really what you want to do is my preference is to have that locked. Uh, so when you move it up and down, um, you're not tilting it. Now, you can use the joystick to tilt it down if you want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the follow mode and we're going to change it to the tilt lock position. Now let me show you what that what does here. I think it makes it a little bit more stable. So you see as I move it, it's not moving. And now you can see if I overreact there, if you hit two times on the trigger, it will reset everything. But there's not much give when you have, and you get the gimbal the most stable when it is tilted kind of forward. At least so that's what I found in my experience. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and look at some video in a minute and see how it looks. But I have found that that pretty much gives you uh, the best results. And you can see there, uh, and here is some footage. Uh, and I'm really, when I was walking with this footage, I wasn't trying to walk as smooth. I was just trying to just walk normally. And you can see it pretty much takes out a lot of that shaky motion. Now, another thing you can do is if you want to move the gimbal up high, when you have the tripod mounted, you can see you can hold it up a little bit higher. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is using the app. Now, this is using the built-in DJI app. And if you have a newer iPhone, you don't want to use the app because it doesn't take advantage of the color science that you're going to get when you use the native app on your phone. And in my case, the 12 Pro Max, um, it's allowing me to get the Dolby Vision. So that's going to give me uh, the highest quality images. And you don't get that when you use the app. So here's another look at some footage uh, from the camera. Uh, mounted on the gimbal, and it does do a very good job. And as I said, um, I was just walking normally when I did this. I wasn't trying to, you know, I was trying to do it like if it was me for the first time, just walking with it and seeing how it'll work. So the strengths of this gimbal, I would say, is the ease of operation. Uh, it works really well, and I would say the negatives of this gimbal are that when you use it, um, every time that I would turn it on, basically after my phone was dismounted from it, every time I remounted the phone, I pretty much had to re-level the gimbal to get the best results. So guys, there's my look at the DJI OM4 gimbal. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.